Suffice it to say we have a whole lot of VIB sale haul to get through today. I'm going to be reviewing for you everything that I got and telling you what my goal is in buying this much makeup. Hi friends, yes, that box is very full. I did a little damage at the VIB sale hall, but what I wanna tell you is that I do have a specific goal in mind in buying that much. I watched so many different videos of people recommending things from the VIB sale, tons of content creators I watched. I probably watched 100 or to try and figure out what I can get my hands on to be able to do for you guys. So I do have a full face of this on on. we're going to go ahead and we're going to try some of this on live but I did want to definitely show you all of these products that I plan to try my hardest to dupe out for you guys at the drugstore and I really didn't have a lot of skincare either I bought this one this is the Ole Hendrickson banana bright eye cream there are so many people talking about how great this is however I think I figured out what they think is so great about it. This has little particles of brightening effect in it or a little bit of a metallic effect in it. I shouldn't say metallic, I should say just a little bit of shimmer and glow in it. So that is the product right there and I've used this several times on my eyes. I don't feel like this is a product that is going to be fantastic for my eyes. It does feel like it's super emollient, but I really don't feel like it is the best eye cream that I've ever used. It smells nice. It has a slight citrusy banana smell. It's not overwhelming, but as you guys know, I'm usually not a proponent of putting fragrance on my face. I don't mind it a little bit in lip products, but I don't usually want fragrance um, going on for makeup or skincare. So this is a product that I'm gonna have to try for the long haul, but I wanted you guys to know what it kind of was all about. And then I bought four foundations. I really want to find dupes for these foundations. They're foundations that people were talking about like crazy, except for, except for the Paracone MD, MD, I can barely say that. This is the No Makeup Foundation. I've been really wanting to try this for a long time. I did wear this one time and it was just a really super light serum like foundation. So in one coat, it was very light coverage. In two coats, it was medium coverage. And I really did couldn't build it up past that. So it's a beautiful foundation if you're somebody that is very dry. And if you're somebody that really likes just the very lightest coverage, well, even your skin tone, but it really didn't give much coverage at all. The Laura Mercier, this one is the Silk Cream oil-free foundation, um, photo edit foundation. This is a pretty foundation. I really did like it when I used it. I've only used it once. It was a little bit more matte than I normally would like, and it was just a tiny bit thicker. The other thing is the color was so off. I don't even know how I ended up with this color. I'll make sure that I list all the colors down below when I'm linking the products. But yeah, this was just one of those that was just terribly, terribly off in color. It did wear well throughout the day. Um, really have only tried it twice so i really don't have a super opinion on it for you yet the one foundation that i did buy that i'm absolutely in love with and it is what i have on today and it is what i will demonstrate to you guys is the bare minerals bare pro foundation this is beautiful foundation it is very beautiful in its coverage it is the perfect color for me i have it in flax 9.5 this is a really good cool tone for me undertone and it just covered so beautifully i do have two layers of it on just in these areas right here where i have so much dis discoloration but everywhere else it just did a fantastic job i love the way it covers i love the way it wears and this is one that i've been wanting to try for years as well and just haven't been able to get my hands on it so it's really pretty and then the last one is the charlotte tilbury magic foundation this one is a, a pretty foundation this color is too light for me it's in the color fair pale and it just is really really too light for me this one as well is one of those foundations that i feel like was super duper hyped and so i wanted to try it and see if i could find a dupe for you guys I have worn this once. I wasn't super impressed with it, but that doesn't tell me a lot because I like to wear things a lot more than just once in order to be able to give you a really good opinion on it. So this one is gonna wait in the wings for a little while. One of the things that I always stock up on during the sale is the lineup tapes from Sephora that gives me this beautiful line right here with my eyeshadow. I cannot do a wing to save my life. I have wrinkles, I have folds, I have crepey you know, eyelids, so I can't do a wing, but this gives the illusion 
extension of a wing because it does give that crisp line that goes, you know, straight up as I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I do love this and I pick up a new one every time they have a sale just to stock up. Another product that I'm really impressed with is this Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector and I have mine in medium and it's kind of a deepened peach. This is really good. Now, now I love LA Girls Peach Color Corrector, but this one just seems to go on my eyes. It sets down really fast. I don't have to worry about having an excess of it on. It takes a teeny tiny bit on my finger to get enough for both eyes and it really, really cancels out that purple that I have so deep around my eyes. This is a great product. I'm hoping that this lasts a long time and it's not like her powder that everybody hits pan on so quickly because this is something that I use every single day and I have used this for about five days in a row and haven't had any extra creasing or had any extra slip. This is really good. If you're somebody that has dark, dark circles, give this a try if you can afford it. And if not, the other one from LA Girl is really good as well that I use all the time. Another product from Charlotte Tilbury. Now Charlotte Tilbury was the craze this time in the VIB sales. There was so many people talking about her products and Pat McGrath's products and Dior. I kind of noticed that that was the leaning towards those three companies this time. So I did pick up quite a few of her products. I remember when it was all about Marc Jacobs. Do you guys remember that? Not too many years ago, Marc Jacobs was the in cosmetic company to look at for all of the VAB sales. So that being said, this is the Flawless Filter and this is the one that can be used as a highlighter on top of your makeup or as the base to your makeup. And I actually forgot to wear this today, which is fine because I really wanted to see how this makeup performed without any specific glow underneath it. I think it's just beautiful. It's not super matte, but it's really pretty. So this one, I haven't noticed that it is this fantastic, wonderful, filter on my face like it claims to be. I have mine in too light. I think that it has a beautiful glow to it as you're seeing come across the camera right there. It's pretty, but I really don't think that this is something that you need to run out and purchase unless you really love Charlotte Tilbury's products. I haven't noticed that it made much difference underneath a foundation yet. I haven't tried it on top of it yet or in with a foundation yet. So those are the two things I am going to try. I like this a lot. I think it's a beautiful product, but again, I'm not sure that it is a product that would be just super wonderful for everybody to have to have in their makeup arsenal. I think there might be things at the drugstore that I can do for this, but it is a beautiful product if you've been wondering. And then heading on to the craziness that is me trying to look for the best concealer ever. Lancome was recommended by Angie from Hot and Flashy. I got the peach, which is the color corrector, and then another color in it that matched my tone really well. I've only been able to wear this one time. I liked it very much. The Pat McGrath, the Sublime Concealer. I like this one as well. I think it's really pretty. I should put on my glasses so I can tell you guys what color these are. Maybe. L5 is the color I got in the Pat McGrath. This is beautiful. This self sets and it's just gorgeous on my mature eyes. I really have been loving that. The next one is Clinique. This is the even better all over concealer and eraser. And this one is in CN18. So cool, neutral 18. I do think this might be just a little bit too light for me, but I do like it too. Um, the doe foot applicator is quite interesting. It's a little bit bent. Um, I do feel like you could easily get too much on because I do like to just put the tiniest amount on of that that I can. So I am still testing these. These are ones that are going to be put to the test over the long haul. Let me show you that applicator on the Pat McGrath one. There it is for that one. And then I'll just dab that one as well so you can see you really can't see too much of how it's going to cover because obviously this isn't my under eyes this one is from nars this is their complete concealer this one just came to me so i really haven't even had the chance to try this yet this is the color chantilly in light um, this is really really fair i'm not sure that this is going to work for me because it's super duper light compared to the other ones i do like a tiny bit of yellow to help cancel out any of the darkness underneath there but this one might work now that i love that other color corrector. So we'll see on that one. But out of all of them that I tried, this one is my favorite so far. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And my color is in 1.5N. I did get the other one first. I think it was the 2.0N. And I had to trade it back in for this one. 
this is a beautiful concealer it is what i have on today and i am so impressed beautiful packaging but it's what's inside especially for a concealer and a foundation that really gets me it's got a bigger doe foot applicator so be really careful when you're using it that you don't get too much you just have to barely dot it on there and then you get enough and i just really love this self sets again which i think is fantastic i don't have the creasing throughout the day it is so beautiful. I really will say that of all of these that got recommended, that this one is the one that I'm like really in love with already. And I don't feel like it's accentuating. I have big, huge wrinkles under here. I mean, I have bad, bad wrinkles under there. And especially from my smile lines and everything, it doesn't settle into the fine lines, the wrinkles. It is really pretty. It lasts all day long. It cancels out. It's just gorgeous. And I... I'm really impressed with this one. It's really, really pretty, but I will be trying to dupe it out for you. Okay, I wasn't gonna get a powder, and then I don't remember exactly who talked about it, but they talked about the Milk Makeup Loose Translucent Setting Powder. This one is in Translucent Light. So I just thought that this just looked really intriguing to me, partly because of its delivery system. It does have a, a cap that um, flips up or a lid that flips up. You kind of see the powder going everywhere super duper fine it is so fine it doesn't come out super fast because it does have this lid stopper and it also has that mesh right there which i've seen a lot in other powders but this is so micro fine i am wearing it to blur my skin out today it's really really pretty and because it is you can see it kind of fly around there that's not because there's a lot of fallout it's just a very very light powder and it just really goes on beautifully as far as blurring this middle part of my skin right here it's so pretty in the blurring factor that it does i really am enjoying this one it is in a very big tub it's going to take me forever to go through there because as you see i dip in one time and then i go over my you know whatever part of my face i need to for that blurring effect but this is really really a pretty powder i think that there's probably some powders out there at the drugstore that are close to this one and i will be testing for sure for you guys but i can report that this one is a beautiful powder this sale it was like bring on the cream blush there were so many recommendations for this patrick ta blush duo and for good reason this patrick ta one is in she's that girl that's the name of it beautiful presentation on it you have the powder over here and then you have the cream blush on here they're both beautiful now as i was watching this everybody was saying make sure you use the powder before you use the cream that's what i've done today on my cheeks i just think this is a gorgeous product it is very beautiful the color that i chose i don't think i could have chosen a better cool toned blush for myself it's just so pretty it wears really well and i don't know if it is putting that cream over the powder that just locks that baby in you are going to have this vibrancy completely throughout the day it is so beautiful so i definitely can recommend that one the other one that i was really excited to pick up i hadn't picked these up before this is from fenty beauty and i believe this one is called cool berry I think this one is so pretty. It's just a beautiful mauve tone. We were talking about mauve makeup just the other day on my on my channel, but this one is truly a beautiful mauve. It is so gorgeous. It does have the tiny bit of little glow to it because you are using a cream product, and I just think this is exceptionally pretty. It is one that I've used a few times now, and it just it's, it's a gorgeous product to hug the cheeks and to stay on mature skin without showing any texture. And the Patrick Ta does that too. It's just a beautiful texture on the cheeks. And then the last cream one that I picked up was from Bare Minerals. And I am hooked on this one as well. This is their Bounce and Blur, and this is Mauve Sunrise. This one does have a tiny bit of that reflect in it. It's got that quality of being able to really blur out the cheeks and just have a soft flush without getting too much. So, so once you do dip down in the cream and then you get it on your cheeks, it's just this beautiful wash of color that kind of sets down to a powder and just really looks gorgeous on the skin. So those were all really fun. And then to apply it this time, I got the hourglass dual ended brush and i am in love with this thing it is really nice now i will say that i have other brushes that 
do this and so even though i got this one i don't feel like you need to run out and get this brush even though it's really nice i've been using it for the cream products and i've been using it for the powder products i did bronze up my face with this today and i did use both of these palettes today on different parts of my face this is the ambient lighting edit and this is what they come out with every year and these are just gorgeous you get their two standards for their lighting powders and then you get the highlight right there which i do have that highlight right there on my brow bone up there and then i did use this bronzer right here and i just dusted it all over my face with this powder brush so this is really great two new blushes for this palette a new highlighter and the bronzer is one that they haven't had and then the other one this one is the ambient lighting edit one from hourglass and this one i did use this color down here on my inner corner today so it's right down there in the inner corner of my eyes this is really beautiful too however if last year you did get the ambient edit palette the six pan one you don't need to get this one because these are all repeats in here i i believe that's what they were saying so you don't really need to go into this one if you did get that pal if you did get that palette last year i did get two highlighters i got this cute little trio from becca which i am absolutely in love with i'll show you that in just a second but from dior everybody was talking about this rose gold one and i think this is a limited edition but i think that you might be able to still get it and i know that they were bringing it back into stock off and on as i was you know shopping the sale so i just took this little hourglass brush and i just went all through it the whole entire thing and i put this on underneath all of that blush and that is my preferred way to put on highlighter because it really just shows up just a gorgeous glow instead of being bam your highlighter in your face it isn't a product that you're going to put on your face and you're going to feel like you have powder on your face it is the most incandescent gorgeous super duper there it is right there you can barely even see it it's just subtle it can be built up to be a really strong highlighter but i do feel like you just get this super ethereal glow of color on your cheeks and if you're somebody that doesn't feel like you can wear a highlighter wearing it underneath your blush can just give your bl your blush that super boost of pretty glow underneath it and i've been doing that for a while and i absolutely love it this now, is a pretty highlighter palette i'm really glad that i did get this but again i do feel like there's probably things out there in the drugstore if you can't do that high price tag and i'm going to be on it for you guys the becca trio this i got because i have one color from the becca trio which is champagne pop that jacqueline hill made for becca but i don't have it in a single it's in a palette that i don't ever reach for so i really wanted to get these there's champagne pop and i believe that's this one let me look here yes this is champagne pop and then they have the rose gold one this is kind of a it just looks like the color of champagne it's very very light um, it does have a little bit of gold in there but it also has the icy quality to it and i just think it's really beautiful on the cheeks as well this and one is the rose gold this is a super light one as well it just has a very ethereal quality to it as well it, all of these are really beautiful highlighters if you maybe have been wanting to do becca's but you didn't want to take the plunge into those that are big this is a great way because honestly Honestly, I don't know if I will ever get through even three little minis like this, let alone the big one. And I love the packaging on this. This is the packaging that they used for the Lilac Geode, I think. Anyway, it's I'll flash it up here on the screen. It's a lilac one that they have still in their in their line. I don't know if it still has this speckle, special packaging, but this is a pretty packaging. It's kind of a purplish, rosy color. And this one is vanilla quartz, like I said, really pretty. Um, you can see how they just look so beaming on the finger when I swatch them, but, but they're not like that on the skin. They're just so pretty they have such a beautiful quality about them so that three little trio i can definitely recommend because i've been using those forever also i did get two setting sprays this time everybody was raving about the charlotte tilbury airbrushed flawless setting spray and i can tell you that this is a very special setting spray it does say that it has polymers in it that help to diffuse the skin and help to not show texture and it really does hold the makeup well in place it's pretty it's really pretty i've never run across anything like this ever and i thought that it was actually a pretty good price because even though this is charlotte tilbury and yes this was 35 dollars, the one other one that i was looking at that was kind of the same 
same thing about blurring technology and all of that stuff from hourglass was $48 for almost the same size so I do feel like this is a much better deal than the hourglass one and it's beautiful on the skin it's what I'm wearing today I feel like my skin came out so pretty today that it's hard to say oh I'm gonna be able to dupe all of this because it just really is beautiful as far as all the things that I've used and this contributed to it and then also from milk makeup this one is the hydro I better get put my glasses on here grip set and refresh so you can set with this and then you can refresh throughout the day and this does have a little bit I can see some sort of a little oil in the top of there so you do need to shake that really well to get it all mixed up it's pretty it's really really pretty as well I don't know if I want to say that it grips because I put this on last and that's really kind of strange to me about whether or not you would want to have something grip or not I, I guess maybe I need to put it on before my powder maybe I need to try it before my foundation I don't know but it is a really beautiful refreshing spray as far as that goes so I do really like that one as well all right very quickly if you're looking for a gift for someone this is adorable I did get one of their favorites and it has all of those teeny tiny little sprayers in there or the little testers in there but it they're all in really cute bottles it's not like those little testers I really like this and I did decide to get the Burberry her out of it so let's see that's that little one right there and I love this it's a very floral but it has citrusy notes in it and it's a very extremely feminine fragrance I think it's just beautiful I'm really glad that I did do that now one of them that I'm not as glad that I did I don't know if I'm going to keep this this is from KLE and this is the miniature set that um, Huda Beauty has put out these are really interesting fragrances however they're not like anything that I was expecting like there's a citrus in here it doesn't smell like citrus it smells like just a really strong floral perfume actually all of these do except for the vanilla the vanilla does have a very strong hint of vanilla it has a musk in here and then it has another one that says elixir in here so I really was only drawn to the vanilla one and it's kind of hard when you can't test these at all so you can't go in and see whether or not there's something that you you really like and this was expensive enough that I feel like even though I'm I'm not one that likes to take things back because this was so very expensive and I couldn't try it beforehand I might do that I still haven't decided on this one or not it just the, the fragrances are super overwhelming and I'm a little bit more on the subtle side it, You know, sometimes super strong fragrances can give me a little bit of a headache, but I love wearing perfume So I'm not normally very um, Sensitive to that but these did make me a little bit sensitive that way So I might be taking that one back and I also got these sets from Pat McGrath I am wearing this lip liner and again, I'll have to grab these glasses so I can see which one this is This is called cosmic vibes. This is the perma gel ultra lip pencil from her and I got the full-size one because she didn't have this one in any of her sets I think it's so gorgeous so I lined my lips with it and I filled in just this outside part and then I took this lip gloss that came in this little set and I just tapped it in the middle and kind of you know blurred that out a little bit and it turned out to be so pretty that is a quite a metallic one all by itself just so you know that um, it's very pretty I should show you I should tell you what the name of this this is called bronze astral so yeah we already know that it is a bronze it doesn't look too bronzy on my lips because I do have it filled in with that other but it came in a set with the the little mini of her lipstick and then another one of her lip liners and this one is called living legend this was very it looks like a very brick red it's and very pretty on and pairing it with that lipstick it does look quite pretty this and one is called flesh five so that it's very warm when you look at it in person but it does have the red undertone to it and then pairing it with this you get kind of a orangey red color when you mix all of them together so this is nice but it wasn't exactly my coloring so if you're closer to my coloring you're going to want to kind of steer clear of this one i think because it's not cool toned at all and that is the end of it. That is the last product that I have to share with you guys this video, I know, but I hope that you hung with me. I really am going to try to dupe out all of these products. This was definitely a lot of fun to be able to shop. I hope that you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing what I got. And I know that so many of you did get to shop the sale. So I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys got from the sale. And don't worry, your girl is still drugstore. But I got so many of these because I wanted to be able to 
dupe them out and find out if these viral products were worth it or if we can dupe them at the drugstore. So thanks again so much for spending a bit of your time with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I would really appreciate that. Take care of yourselves, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and I will catch you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.